I brought from Safari and we're on the Bertram 25 here and we're currently spinning up the Seakeeper down here um, but let's just have a look um, we're currently drawing um, we've got our 48 volt battery system here we're drawing about 8 amps at 50 volts we're drawing about 450 watts which you can also see we're holding the pin voltage here at 13 volts for the Seakeeper and uh, Scotty's pouring current into it to hold it up at that so let's just have a look at our page here you can see 426 watts we're consuming at the moment uh, while it's um, spooling up it's off it's rocket look, look how the sea keeper moves down here all right and we just get the horizon right on the camera i'm going to try and stand hold as still as i can all righty turn her on please jack wow <laughs> it's incredible all righty let's go for a spin now let's see how much power we're drawing so we're back here, we've got the alternators are fitting into Scotty, 48 volt system again. And let's see, what are we drawing in there now? We're drawing close to 500 watts there now, 461 watts. And uh, let's give it a spin, Jack. Here's the view from the back. The two Verados are running here. The Sea Keeper's running down in here. And uh, this is all being powered off the alternators of the outboards uh, through Scotty over there. and. Uh, we're on our 48 volt system here and uh, we're charging the batteries are going up 96 percent um, they're slowly charging at the moment as well and uh, we haven't really taken the engine up yet in speed let's uh, see what happens then all right we're going to wind this up a bit now see keep returning over we've got our computer ticking away here Doing a solid 975 watts here. It's like a rock in here. This is just like pouring out the back. Twins, 275s. Z keeping down the bottom here. It's just like a rock. We've been running around for an hour and a half now and the batteries are 100%. I can't get anything more into the batteries for our, for our uh, testing. Uh, so just uh, <laughs> while we're resting now, that's our 48 volt system here. Uh, a couple more supports to go in here and then a covered front to go on it and we've got all our fusing at the back there. Uh, that's the isolator for the uh, gyro there. And then on this side here, um, that's just a temporary switch we've put in there, but we've got here Scotty. This is the 12 volt uh, bus coming in here with a cover for it, and uh, the isolators on the port starboard and the combiner uh, that are over there. I will just show the viewer now uh, the system that we've got set up on the boat. So, two Verados, uh, one, two, uh, with the two outboards, and connected to the Verados. So, this is on the starter batteries here at 12 volt. Uh, we have down here Scotty that you'll see, and what it does is it's a bi-directional DC to DC transformer. Um, it's out of the electric vehicle industry, it's high grade, uh, five year warranty, and it will transfer the power from the 12 volt to either 24 or 48. In this case we chose 48 volt because of the compact size of it. And we've got on the boat three 48 volt batteries, um, and they're uh, equivalent to 600 amp hours at 12 volts. Uh, we've got an inverter on board here at 48 volt, and so this side of the, the, the of the system here is all 48. Uh, it runs an induction, electric hot water, and uh, Jack's planning to add an air conditioner in the front there. Um, now on the 12 volt side here, um, we've got the Sea Keeper, uh, electric reels, uh, fridge, all the instrumentation and uh, we're running the Victron Turbo and display. Now this uh, Turbo here will not only come to the display here, but it'll also go into the uh, Simrad, into the glass bridge up on the uh, top of the, uh, on his flybridge there. So uh, this side all runs uh, on 12 volt, this side on 48 volt, in this case, as I said, it could be 24. And what Scotty does down here is it uh, transfers the power, it uh, decides 400 times a second, and uh, the minute the engines are off here, it will switch in the other direction in one four hundredth of a second and uh, continue the 12 volt power up here to uh, 
uh, on the 12 volt bus. Now we protect these batteries with smart battery protects and uh, we isolate one of the starter batteries. So uh, that's the system we have set up. Our estimate is two hours running these Verados a day and you can run this uh, gyro here for uh, 24 hours a day. So uh, it's uh, a very powerful system, very simple and absolutely no uh, 12 volt house battery. How good's that?